Some of Indiana's top coal industry leaders stopped on Vincennes University's campus today. They spoke with industry experts and one senator about hurdles ahead. Which could impact how you pay your utility bills. It's what's topping headlines tonight in our Southern Bureau. News 10's Eric Stidman explains. The writing on the wall reads, times change and we change with them. It's a President William Henry Harrison quote, but the mood in the president's room on VU's campus Tuesday represented anything but change. Uh, they think that we're just, the coal companies are just belching the air with uh, bad stuff. They haven't begun to understand that the hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars that have been spent controlling these emissions. These men and women represent the elite, the top dogs in the coal industry in southern Indiana, an industry they say is embattled. Power plants are now going to have to, or electric utilities rather, are now going to have to make the decision of do we stay with coal or do we go with another fuel source. Republican Senator Dan Coats turned out for the meeting. He says there's a war on coal in Washington, which trickles right back down to Indiana. You can't run this country and windmills and solar panels. Sometimes the sun doesn't shine and sometimes the wind doesn't blow. But coal is there to provide that base of support that's absolutely essential to our economy. Which could destroy the lives of people in Knox and Sullivan County. Coal advocates say regulations at the federal level could cost Hoosiers jobs and force you to pay more on your energy bill. This is going to affect every single Hoosier. Um, the average household is about $50,000 a year. And about 20% of that $50,000 that they take home um, goes to energy cost. Proponents say the coal industry damages air and water quality, and the Environmental Protection Agency will have its say on the industry later this year, which coal advocates say could put Hoosier jobs on the line. In Vincennes, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. Senator Coates said that he's employed the help from Senate Democrats to stop the war on coal.